and mighty God, everlasting King, Prince of Peace, Holy Deliverer. I lift up your name and I give you glory, God, because the glory is yours. The honor is yours and the praise is yours. The exaltation is yours. Father, we give you glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship the name of Jesus. We worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We worship the conquering lion of our tribe of Judah. We worship the strong and breasted one. We worship glory to God, the name above all other name. Hallelujah. Father, we give you thanks. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, you're worthy, God. He's worthy to be, to be praised. He's worthy to receive honor. He's worthy. Jesus, you're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy, Lord. Oh, Jesus, we worship and adore you, God. We worship and exalt your name, God. We worship and extol praises unto you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Who is like you, Lord? Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Jesus. We worship and adore you, God. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the praise. Lord God, with the fruit of our lips, we exalt you, we exalt you, we exalt you, we exalt you. Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Holy One. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. We worship and adore you, God. Oh, Jesus. My rock, my fountain, my precious Lord, my God and my King. Jesus, you are glorified. You are honored. You are magnified. Father, we lift you up and we give you glory. Father, we lift you up and we give you praise. Oh, bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. For the name of Jesus is highly exalted. The name of Jesus is high and lifted up. The name of Jesus is above all other name. The name of Jesus is a conquering lion. It's a balm in Gilead. It's a sweet rose. It is a sweet smelling incense. We worship and exalt your name. My rock and my fortune. We honor your God and mighty above everything and above everyone. God and mighty, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. We magnify your name, Jesus. For you are great and greatly to be praised. You, O oh Lord God and mighty, who sits high and looks low. You, O oh God and mighty, who knows our hearts and our thoughts. And there's nothing that we can hide from you, Jesus. And we come before your God knowing that there's nothing that we can hide from you, Jesus. Asking you, Lord God. God Almighty to have your own sweet divine way. Asking you God Almighty to come in Almighty God and sup with us. Asking you God Almighty because we wish not to die but we wish to live and declare the word of the Lord. We wish to declare God Almighty who is and is to come. Who is the risen Christ. Who is the Lamb of God. Who is glory to God by all in all. I worship. I worship. I worship. I worship. Worship your holy name. For there's none like you. Jesus. Oh God. Jesus. Oh bless the Lord. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the Jesus. says the whole duty of man is to worship God. Glory to God in our walking, in our talking. Glory to God in our living, in our breathing, in our existing. Our whole duty is to worship and to give him praise and to magnify his name because he is and is and is and is and is and is and is, and is to come. He is above all 
all that we need, Jesus. Glory to God. Sometimes the world comes and covers glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God, how we ought to be and how we ought to behave. What should our be our response in the midst of trials and tribulation? What should be our response, glory to God, in the midst of pain and grief? What should be our response when the enemy comes upon us like a flood? Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I'm just going to invite each and every one of us to draw closer to the altar. Glory to God. As we give God glory, as we give him praise, we're going to consecrate ourselves back to him one more time. For he said men are always to pray and not to faint. And if we faint, we're going to lose. If we faint, we're going to lose. And sometimes when we're fainting, the enemy tells us, glory to God, you have no hope. You have no place. You have no recourse. But let me tell you this morning, my hope is in God. My hope is in Jesus. It is found glory to God in the promises of God that he will never leave me, that he will never forsake me, and that wherever glory to God I am, he will be with me. My hope is built on nothing less but upon Jesus' blood and his righteousness, I dare not trust the sweetest frame. I dare not trust it. Mighty God, mighty God. Jesus, don't trust no refrain. Don't trust no pause. No trust glory to God, no stick, no stone. Put your trust in God. Cast all your cares upon him. Glory to God. Ay, Baba. For he cares for us. Glory to God. I don't know if you understand the care that he cares for us. That he left the splendor of heaven. Came down. Glory to God in the form of sinful man. Glory to God so that we might have life. And have it more abundantly. God is with us. God is for us. God will fight for us. But we have to give him the space and the room to do it. Is there anything too hard for God? Is there anything too hard for God? Huh? Yeah. Father God, I lift up your name and I give you glory this morning. I lift up your name and I exalt you, hallelujah, this morning. Father of God, I worship and extol praises unto you this morning. For you're the reason why I'm still standing. You're the reason why I still draw breath. You're the reason why I have mobility. God, you are great and greatly to be praised. So Lord, we come before your God just as we are without one plea. But that your blood was shed for us. Knowing God Almighty that you said we must come before you with humility, God. With a broken and contrite, oh glory to God, heart. Broken spirit. Lord God, knowing that our help is not on earth, but in heaven, God. Father, we come before you right now. Under the name of Yeshua Yamashia, God. We come before you now, Father, knowing, oh God, that you will hear our cry and that you will answer by and by. Father, we know not the hour, not the minute, but you said we must be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in your word. Father, let your power fall. Let your anointing break forth for your people, God Almighty. We need to understand the times that we're living in and to buckle our shoes gird our loins glory to God almighty dress up ourselves with the armor glory to God of righteousness father as we lift up your name and as we give you glory wash us and cleanse us oh glory to God from the things that so easily beset us lord God almighty let your anointing 
Break the barriers. Break the fetters. Trample up on everything that is not of you, God. For you said we shall trample up on the heads of serpents and scorpions. And our heels shall not be bruised. Father, we come before you, God. Under the authority of the Holy Ghost. Under the power of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, asking you, God, to step in one more time. Lord God Almighty, to dress us up one more time. To make us whole one more time. To give us strength one more time. To give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding one more time. Help us, glory to God, to become a church, oh glory to God, that eats meat, hallelujah, and stop drinking milk, ababa. Help, Holy Ghost. We look to you, God Almighty, for you are where our help comes from. You are God Almighty, and you're well able to do exceedingly. You're well able to do abundantly. You're well able, God, to do what we could never imagine. God Almighty, we cast our cares upon you this morning, for we know you care for us this morning. Lord God Almighty, let your Holy Ghost power let your Holy Ghost anointing uh, saturate, oh glory to God. Permeate, oh glory to God. Lord, we call upon your Father. For we are your people and the sheep of your pastors. Lord God Almighty, we should enter into your gates with thanksgiving. Uh, and into your courts with praise. Uh, to be thankful in all situations. Uh, in every area, hallelujah, Jesus, to give praise and thanks, no matter what the circumstances, no matter what the situation, because you will move on our behalf, God. God Almighty, the songwriter says I shall not die, but live and declare glory to God, the work of the Lord Jesus. And God Almighty, we look to you, Holy Ghost, for we know, God Almighty, that you're well able. Father, break fetters and destroy yokes. We pray over our young people this morning, God. We pray, God Almighty, for their hearts to find Almighty God, Father Jesus, pliable in your hands. We pray that our hearts, Almighty God, will be fertile ground. We pray God Almighty, that their hearts will be malleable, God Almighty, in your hands. Lord God, that lives will be saved, that lives will be delivered, that lives, Almighty God, will be changed, that they will walk out of darkness and come into this marvelous light. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are not our own glory to God. We were created in your image and in your likeness. Lord God Almighty, in your brood, the breath of life into us. And we became a living soul. Father, we look to you, God. For you are a righteousness. You are a strong tower. You are glory to God, our bomb in Gilead. You are almighty God, our all in all. Let your power fall, God almighty. Let your anointing break forth, Holy Ghost. Let your glory to God. Your grace and your mercy fill us. Lord God, for we are not our own. And we're not ordinary people once you accept us, God. And once you change us, oh glory to God. The enemy have robbed us of our identity, God. But help us to come to Almighty God ourselves. And to shake ourselves, Almighty God. Lord God Almighty, and take stock. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord God Almighty, let your power fall. Touch your man's servant and your woman's servant. Cover them under your blood, God Almighty. Raise them up a little higher, God. Lord God Almighty, put Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your head of protection, God, double, triple, triple, God. Around them, Holy Ghost of God. And I pray, God Almighty, that their eyes will be steadfast and unmovable upon your Holy Ghost. Lord God Almighty, that no matter what storm cloud, ah, 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 miracle glory to God, the ship, ah, we will know from whence our help cometh. Ah, our help cometh from the Lord, ah, which made heaven and earth, ah, and he is able to do exceedingly. He is able to do abundantly. He is able to do glory to God more than we could ever ask. Hope I think uh, we serve a mighty God. Uh, we serve a God who is well able. Uh, we serve a God, hallelujah.
hallelujah, whose words are yea and amen. And Lord, we worship and adore your God. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, we worship. Oh, Jesus. You are Lord over everything and over everyone. We declare your Lord over Grove Road. We declare your Lord in Grove Road. We declare your Lord in the hearts and the minds of the people of Grove Road. We declare you the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We declare you the conquering lion of a tribe of Judah. We declare your God, our almighty God, inheritance. We declare your God, almighty, our provision. We declare your God, almighty, our almighty God, restoration. We declare your God, almighty, the everlasting King. Over us, oh God, around us, almighty oh God, in us, so oh glory to God and through us. We declare our God. We declare you, Jesus. We declare you. We declare you. No matter what the enemy is trying, God Almighty, to rob us, we declare you. No matter what the enemy bringing upon us, Almighty God, we declare you. No matter what the enemy whispering in our minds, we declare you. No matter what the enemy is planting, oh glory to God, among glory to God, Father Jesus, our planting God Almighty. No matter what tears he may sow, no matter what glory to God, thorns and bristles he may bring up, we declare you. We declare you. We declare you. Our righteousness. And we honor you. And we adore you. And we glorify you. We extol praises unto your name. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. We declare you. We declare you. We declare you Lord of Lord King of Kings We declare you We declare you Our righteousness We declare our happiness we declare you our only Listen, glory to God. God save us. He saved us. When we said yes to him, he saved us. We don't have to continually work in the same vein or work in the same way that we knew. He saved us. Songwriter says, I am free. Praise the Lord, I am free. No longer bound, no more chains holding me. My soul is resting. It's such a blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, I am free. Jesus. Glory to God. Turn your Bibles with me to Amos 5.
sorry, St. Matthew 25. Turn your Bibles with me to St. Matthew 25. Glory to God, St. Matthew 25. Jesus. Huh? When you find in me, praise the Lord, St. Matthew chapter 25. We'll be reading from the first verse down to the 13th, St. Matthew chapter 25. Glory to God. I'll read and you follow it. Read thus. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins who took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, Go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. Glory to God. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came along the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Thirteenth and final. Watch, therefore. For ye know neither the day, nor the hour, wherein the Son of Man cometh. Watch! Don't be complacent. Don't fall asleep. I'm talking to myself as well, I'm talking to you. Because this world is designed to make us become comfortable and com complacent. Watch, watch, therefore, for you and I know not the hour, nor the day, when our Lord shall put in back his appearance. Watch, 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 watch. And let us watch each other back too, because if we see our brothers and sisters going down, warn them. Don't be afraid if them go and vex with you or them go and show you bad face. Let them show you the bad face. Because guess what? You're going to have to answer to God because you didn't warn. Warn them. Don't let anybody walk contrary and you don't correct them. Open your mouth because God give us that glory to God authority to open our mouths for each other. Glory to God. This is the word of the Lord. God has spoken at the church say. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. We bless the Lord. I forgot that is Youth Sunday, and I'm taking over. But glory to God. We're just going to call glory to God. Giovanni Pierce at this time. Giovanni Pierce. Who will come and make glory to God each and every one welcome those online and those glory to God who glory to God are viewing us this is Giovanni Pierce please pray for him thank you Jesus good morning church can all visitors please stand pleasant good morning everyone my name is Giovanni Pierce, and I am here to do the welcome and acknowledgement. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, come before his presence with singing. And that verse, Psalm 100, verse 1 and 2. 
on the behalf of our Bishop, Bishop Dr. Delford Davis, his wife, Minister Petrona Davis, our host, Pastor Minister Neil Tharp, and his family, Minister Verma Barton, the officers and members, we here at the Power of Faith Ministry Grove Road, we all want to welcome you this morning. And to our regular visitor, continue to come in the house because one day you will no longer be a visitor but a member of this assembly. Okay. Congregation, please put your hands together for our visitors. Let us not forget this morning for those who are viewing on Facebook, YouTube, or various platforms. We do welcome you this morning. Please put your hands together for our viewers. Congregation, put your hands together for yourself this morning. We now hand over to the moderator, Dina. <laughs> Hallelujah, we must encourage them. If we don't, the world will. Amen? Amen? When you see them at this be and go on, just go over and, and just talk to them. You know what? You don't have to be so. You can do better. You understand? Even if them frown and go on, you still spoke. You knew you spoke. Glory to God. And I can't discount that anyone said you need to do better. Amen? Glory to God. Put your hands together for the youth. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. At this time, glory to God. We're about to hear from the echoes of faith ministry. Put your hands together for them. Make them welcome. Pray them up as they come to minister under the care of God and the Holy Spirit. No more change. Thank you. Jehovah Rapha. 
Know that we come to him, we put aside that, we lay aside that glory to God. We put down the things, glory to God, that don't give him glory, that don't give him praise, that don't give him honor. Glory to God, hallelujah. But let us become living sacrifices unto the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Glory to God. Oh, oh I'm never, oh yes, I'm never, I'm never, never. Never, 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 never going, never going, never going back. I'm never going back, never going back, never going back, never going back. I'm never go. Come on, church. I'm gonna go back. Not go back. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna hear nothing. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Tell the devil, I'm never, never going back. I am never going back. I am. Never Listen to me. You will have trials and you will have struggles. You will have people tell life by you. Glory to God and call you a man of name, but never going back. I'm never. I'm never going back. I'm never. Never going back to the way you are. I'm never, 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 never going back. Going back, never going back. I'm never going back, never going back to the way you are. We honor your name, Jesus. We give you glory, Jesus. At this time, glory to God. You're gonna hear a poem from one of our youngsters. Glory to God, and she's a poemist. That's what you call him, poemist. Glory to God, because she loves saying poems. So right now, rec receive glory to God, our sister, Sister Campbell, as she comes and presents her poem. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And after that, we'll receive glory to God, the tiny hands in praise. Receive her. Come on, man. I saw to receive our young people. Bless the Lord. Go ahead, my darling. Praise the Lord, church. Good morning. My name is Tashara Campbell, and I am eight years old. This morning, I will be doing a poem called Dear Parent. Amen. Amen. Dear Parent, what kind of child are you raising? What legacy are you giving your children? Are you teaching them the ways of the Lord? Are you raising a godly seed or are you letting your friends, your relatives, and the internet dictate to you how to raise your child? 
A child is a gift from God, and it's your responsibility as a parent to raise up that child right. Proverbs 22 verse 6 says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when that child gets older, he will not depart from it. My dear parent, develop a relationship with God so that you can influence your child and let them know that they are fearfully and wonderfully made. God bless you. Yeah. Glory to God. Thank you, my baby. Glory to God. She's our baby, you know. And I don't see our baby alone. Yeah, Brother Campbell? She's our baby, right? Hallelujah. Glory to God. And she was so well articulate, you said? Yes. And she, you heard every word, right? You heard every word, right? There was nothing that you didn't hear. That we as parents must recognize that we have a responsibility to grow up our children. Glory to God. And that we have the responsibility, not the internet, not our family members, not our neighbors, not our friends, not the school. Glory to God. But we have the responsibility. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Is the tiny hands in praise ready? Glory to God. Receive the tiny hands in praise as they come to minister in sign language. Pray them up and bless them up and strengthen them up in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I feel like running, skipping. Praise the Lord for what he has done for me. He has set my spirit free. I feel like running, skipping. Praise the Lord for what he has done for me. Hold on, 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 hold on
and a full name and it. Glory to God. Come on, hold on. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Jesus. 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 We give you the glory, we give you the honor, we give you the praise, and we exalt you. Jesus. 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 Woo! Glory to God. At this time, receive the tiny hands in praise. I said, pray them up. I said, pray them up. I said, pray for them. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hold on, hold on, hold on.
God, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. Glory to God. Hold on. The best is yet to come. Glory to God. At this time, receive God's man servant, Minister Neil Thorpe, as he comes in the care of God and Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my soul cries out, Hallelujah. When I recognize that it is nothing good that I have done, but whatever God is doing is because of his grace and his mercy. I will join with the writer that says I'm eternally grateful for all that God has done. Is that amen this morning? Praise God. Put your hand together for the Lord and you may take your seat. Praise God. You may be seated. I give God thanks this morning for another morning, another morning that we can gather in his name to worship him. Amen. Amidst the challenges of life, we can say God is good. Might not have all that we need financially and otherwise might not have everybody cheering for us, might not have everybody in our corner, but God is good. Amen? Why God is good? Because God could have cut us off without remedy, but every day of our lives, he continues to have mercy. What God's people need to do is to recognize his mercy and continue to seek his face. Amen? Praise God, I greet my bishop, Bishop Dr. Delpha Davis, the founder, and his wife, Minister Dr. Petrova Davis. They are the founders of the Power of Faith Ministries, and this morning, we take time out to give God thanks for them, and I want you to put your hand together for the man and woman of God. I want to thank God this morning for all the board members of the Grove Road Assemble. Put your hand together for them. I can tell you all of them name this morning. They might need a little circling. We give God thanks for Minister Vilma Barton, who is at this time, should be delivering the word of God in another place, in another land. Amen. Please keep her in your prayers. Also, Evangelist Pedla Roberts, put your hand together for her. And Missionary Logan, put your hand together for Missionary Logan. Also, Elder Witter, who is not here this morning. I want you to put your hand together for Elder Witter. And also, our moderator this morning, Exhorter Dingham, put your hand together for her. Those are the movers and shakers of the Grove Road Assembly. They keep all the programs going, all the lights on. They keep looking out for the members. Amen. Those are the board members of the Grove Road Assembly. And I give God thanks for every one of them. And I give God thanks for all the workers and credential officers and everyone this morning, visitors and all. And I thank God for those who are watching us online. I, you might not be seeing us live right now. We are having some technical difficulties because of technology. Technology will always have technical dif difficulties, amen? But we are here and we are giving God thanks. So whatever time you get to view this service, I do trust that you will be blessed and you will be challenged, amen? Uh, before we do our pastoral prayer this morning, I want to say to the church, do not get discouraged. Do not allow yourself to be getting discouraged. We are living in a time when I look at it in every sector, in every aspect of life, 
if you look on it, it's like it's going on the reverse. When you would be looking to see everything shine for you financially, work-wise, and school, and everything, everything seems to be going backward. But I want to say to the children of God and to those who have faith in God that you are to stand firm. You are not going to go under because God is with you. You will go through some trials and some testing, but if you endure to the end, you will be successful. And you are not going to die before God gives you success. You are going to experience success if you hold faith. The children of Israel, they keep crying to God for deliverance. And the Bible said there comes a time when God heard their cry and delivered them. I'm saying to all of us this morning, you will be delivered. Whether it's sickness, whether it's enemy that is giving you trouble, whether it's demons and devils that keep perplexing your mind, you will have success. Just trust God. Is that amen? Praise God. Before we pray, I want to give God thanks for our children. They sat their CXC and their cape and I don't know all the names from here who sat their CXC, but the parents today should be happy. Amen? You might not get all the passes that you thought you would have gotten, or all the ones, or all the distinction, but guess what? Life for the children is work in progress. I told my daughter when she tell me she sat eight and got six. And I said to her, life is such a journey that from, it's like a race. She entered the race at PEP. And our PEP, right, because common entrance for her was out. She entered the race at PEP and she qualified. She was qualified for the quarterfinal or the semifinal. Because the moment she entered PEP, she got qualified. And now that she got qualified, she sat CXC. So she sat the quali she also qualified now. Because she's going on to the sixth form, which you could put sixth form at semi-final, not the final. Final for them is when they enter college. And it is all up to them. They are able to qualify from every, all angles, from PEP, CXC, straight up to college. So what we need to do as parents is to continue to encourage them. You know, even when they don't get all ones. I know somebody, one of her friends from headquarters, who sat 10 subjects and got nine ones nine ones and and that's her best friend she got nine ones and one two and she was disappointed with the two but I said to her that's life too you never have anything perfect so children of God don't worry you're not going to have everything perfect you're not going to some things they are going to not so perfect and you have to rub them and shape them until they become perfect as how you want them. So do not be discouraged. There's absolutely no reason for a child of God to get discouraged. What a child of God should always do, see everything in your life as an opportunity to make it better. Even when somebody look at it and say it's good, see it as your opportunity to make it better. And if you do that, you will be less burdened by the cares of life. Amen? Well, I'm going to ask you to stand and just to lift your hands. And I want everybody in the house, we're going to pray. I want you to give God a special worship this morning. You might not feel like it. You might not see any lightning flashing. But I want you to just close your eyes. You 
I want everyone to try and stand. Once you can stand. Because you want something from God. I want you to just open up your spirit. Forget about the person next to you. If all you can say is, Lord, have mercy. I want you to do it from your heart this morning. Hallelujah. I want you to just open your spirit. Let this place become a place of worship. Because the word of God tells us that God inhabits our praise. God inhabits our worship. So whatever you're going through today, put it in worship to God. Open up your spirit like the woman who bring the alabaster box. And the Bible said, when she pulled that box, she opened it. And she did not open the bottle, but she break the bottle. Hallelujah. Because she know what she wanted God to do. Or how she want to give God her praise. So break the bottle this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Most righteous and eternal God, we give you worship. Lord God, not because we desire anything of you. But oh God, we just open our spirit this morning. And we bow down before you, God, and we worship. We worship you, Lord God. The trials are heavy, but we lift them up this morning to you. Because God, we recognize you said in your word, Come, let us reason together. Mighty God, as your people stand in your courts today in worship. Stand in your courts today in praise. Lord God, everything might not be going as how we plan them to go. As how we desire them to go. Lord God, you see those in our midst who have been struggling day after day, year after year with all kind of things, Lord God. And they are asking the question this morning, when, Father God, when? When, Father God, when? Lord God, like the children of Israel, for years, God, they were under bondage, under fear. God, they cry out to you day and night. Lord, I don't know who Pharaoh have today. I don't know who Pharaoh bound. Lord, finances seems to be so far from some of us. Peace seems to be so far from us. Lord, all we have been troubled on every side. Lord God, there are some people watching right now who they have not done anyone anything. But Lord, on every side there seems to be an enemy. On every side there seems to be a discourager. Lord God, I lift up your people before you. Because God, you said if we pray, you will hear from heaven. And I ask you right now, God, Wherever your people are lifting up faith to you, you know their conditions and situation. Lord, there are some grateful hearts right now in their home, in this sanctuary. Lord God, they are just bursting with gratitude to you. Mighty God, I pray this morning that every single person, Lord God, under the sound of our voice, whether they watch it now, later, or whenever. Lord God, I pray for a mighty breakthrough for somebody. Lord God, because you are God and you can change situation. Lord, you know everyone conditions by name. Father, I pray that you will plant a word of faith in their hearts right now. Self tell them it is impossible. Others tell them it's impossible. But Holy Ghost of God, I pray for an overshadowing now of your peace. Because God, you never speak doubt in, everyone, in anyone's heart. You never speak failure in anyone's heart. 
God, I ask you now to show somebody a hand. Show them a cloud like a man's fish. God, that it's about to rain in somebody's life. God, children are about to become obedient. Lord, miracles are about to take place in their life. Can they hold on to that little hand that they saw? Oh God, in the cloud, you gave your prophet the word and you, he sent his servant to look. And when he looked, he come back and say, all he saw is a cloud like a hand. Lord God, show up in somebody's life this morning with a cloud of hand. Because God, when you open that hand, no demon, no devil can stand. Open that hand of healing in the name of Jesus. Open that hand of deliverance. Open that hand of peace. Mighty God, open that hand for somebody today. Open that hand for somebody this week. Oh God, somebody who tell themselves they don't know because they don't know what is about to happen. God, they feel discouraged, but open that hand for them. Open that hand for salvation for somebody. In the name of Jesus. God, I feel your presence in this place. And I feel the open hand over your people. Mighty God, as small as it is. God, it's going to become rain. The whole place will get black because it's going to rain. And God, you're going to wash away everything that is not needed in their life. Father God, I just want to give you thanks this morning for that open hands in the life of your people. God, no demon, no devil. Oh, God can stop it. Because it's your hand. No mouth can discourage anyone. Healing for the eyes. In the name of Jesus. Healing for the body. They are worried. Yes God I feel the worry. But in the name of Jesus. His hands. Going to make a difference. The nail scarred hands. Is going to make a difference this morning. No money, but money is in your hands for somebody. If they will receive it by faith this morning, in the name of Jesus. No, they don't have to argue with anybody because your hand brings the solution. And so, Father, we thank you this morning for a victorious week for your people. Fly every trap that the enemy has set. Fly every discouragement that the enemy would have laid before your people for this week in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the darling Holy Ghost. Open up your mouth and just give him thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. You may be seated. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Don't stop trusting. Don't stop trusting God. Do not be discouraged. If it don't happen today, it's going to happen tomorrow. Sometimes when the pressure gets heavy and you're about to give up, that's the time your breakthrough would have happened. How do I know? Because God says in his word, I will not give you more than you can bear. So when you are at that point when you think it's more, just stay put in God. You don't have to say anything. Just stay put. Ask God to keep you. Because your breakthrough is right there. Just hold to God. Hold faith in God. 
Hallelujah. He is real. Amen. Put your hand together for him today. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. At this time, we will be having the voice of inspiration choir. I want to, you see, brethren, everything that happens when you come in the house of God, they are designed for ministering to the body of Christ. So when the choir minister, they don't sing, they minister. You should embrace the word that you hear and just know, even if everything going well, just lift your hands while the choir is ministering and let God minister to you. Put your hand together, the voice of inspiration choir. To what faces us. Glory to God. We must tell ourselves, glory to God. When enemy come and say, you know, say another well, you know, say another this, you know, say this, say this, and that. But guess what? What does God say? And we really lean upon what God says and we trust in what God says because his words have never failed. And he says before one of his words return unto him void, heaven and earth must pass away first. So we give God thanks for his word and his blessings. Glory to God and his promises that we are the church and we are triumphant because we are working and we are living in victory and we are living in a job that is finished not going on not to be done but it's finished glory to God and we just want to bless the Lord this morning hallelujah thank you Jesus Has 
been through some battles before. Storms and tempests and rocks on the shore. Though the hulls may be battered, inside is safe and dry. Yes, it will carry its cargo to the port in the sky. So let the church, yes, Lord, be the church. Let the people rejoice. We have to rejoice for we are settled the question. of this glorious ship oh the holy ghost he's the compass he will guide her safe safe along though the winds may blow and the wind It will carry its cargo to the port in the sky. So let the church, yes, Lord, be the church. Let the people rejoice. We got to rejoice. He said to Choice. Let me answer. It got to ring down. That's how others will be saving us. When we do the things that we have to do in Christ Jesus. For the church triumphant is alive and well. King Jesus is the captain. Of this glorious ship, oh, the Holy Ghost is the compass. He will guide her safe along, though the winds may blow and the waves toss to and fro. Yes, Lord, in our walking, in our talking, Lord, let the people rejoice. We'll settle the question, and we may cry or choice. Let it ring down, let it ring down, let it ring down.
church. We got to be the church in this time and this dispensation. Glory to God if we not stand up and shine the light. Glory to God. The Bible says you can't hide your light under a bushel. You can't put out glory to God a candlestick. Glory to God under a table. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. For we've settled the question and we'll make right. in my spirit and I'm going to say it this morning the church is alive and well and when we say the church is alive and well we do not we are not talking about the building so guess what the church the people is the church so we are like a ship loaded with cargo but we cannot let off the cargo until we get to harbor so child of God 
since the church is alive and well, no matter the storm that comes your way, you are alive and well. It did not say the church is alive and well without cares. It did not say the church is alive and well without difficulty, but it guarantee us because Jesus is the head of the church. There is nothing that can or should defeat us. So what we need to do as the church, as the people of God, shift your focus from what is giving you weight. Shift your focus and let your focus be on the captain because the captain is not worried about what is happening. The captain know that he must take the ship to harbor. And if everybody, as Paul says, stay on board, the ship might be destroyed, but the captain, who is Jesus, guarantee us that we are alive and well. So tell yourself today, tell myself today, nothing is going to cause us to be discouraged. And not only that, we're not going to get to harbor with sad faces. We're going to get to harbor rejoicing. We're going to get to harbor giving God thanks, even when you don't know how. So the church is alive and well. Amen. And God is about to bring us a word this morning. I'm going to ask you to stand with us. Somebody who has availed themselves, herself, himself to deliver a word for somebody. Deliv you, listen, when you come into the house of God, if it's only one person is willing to take the word, they will be delivered. And that's why it's important that we don't listen to the messenger. Whether it's the bishop, the pastor, the, the, you don't have to like the messenger. That's what I'm saying. But listen to the message because it's coming from the captain, who is Jesus Christ. Amen? But you should love the messenger. Because the messenger is a servant of God. But I know there are those of us who sometimes are hung up on personalities. And we miss God. But I don't want nobody to miss God this morning. I want you to pray for the messenger. And as the message go forth, I want you to embrace it. Because you are going to take your cargo to shore. I want you to put your hands together. And make welcome to this podium, Exhorter Laverne Gelly, to tell us the mind of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Just wave your hands in the presence of God this morning. Hallelujah. Just worship the Lord this morning. Uh, come on, just give him praise this morning. Uh, worship our King this morning. Uh, glorify him this morning. Uh, he is worthy to be praised this morning. Uh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Uh, we exalt you, Jesus. Uh, we lift you up, Father. Uh, we bless your name this morning. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It's an honored privilege uh, to be standing in here uh, one more time in this delicate position uh, as I stand here I just want you to pray my strength uh, in the Lord this morning uh, because the Lord has given me a word to share unto his people this morning when I listen to the songs when I listen what the choirs sing I said God uh, you are good you are sending a word to your people this morning uh, Hallelujah. Just lift your hands this morning. Uh. Just give him a praise this morning. Uh. Just worship God this morning. Uh. Hallelujah. As I sing this little song. Hallelujah. You gave me my hands 
to reach out to men to show them your love and your perfect plan you gave me my ear so i can hear your voice so clear i can hear the cry of sinners but can I wipe away their tears? You gave me my voice to speak your word, to sing all your praises to those who never heard. But with my eyes, I can see need more availability I have seen the hearts that broken so many people to be free Lord I'm available to you my will I give to you do what you said use me lord to show someone the way that i never meant to say my storage is empty and i am available to you Now I'm giving back to you all the tools you gave to me. My hands, my ears, my voice, my eyes, so you can use them as you please. I have emptied my cup so that you can fill me up. Now we're free. I just want to be more available to you, Lord, I'm available to you, my will I give to you, I do what you said, use me, Lord, to show Let's bow for prayer this morning. Father, we thank you this morning. It's not by might nor by power, but by your will, God. Father, I'm available to you, Jesus. As I stand here this morning, I am not my home, but I belong to you, Jesus. Father God Almighty, whatever you want me to say this morning, here I am, take me and use me. God, I surrender to you this morning. God, I'm just a speaker. Lord, speak through me, Lord, what you want me to say unto your people. Father God, the word has prepared, but I am depending on you this morning. Father God, this morning I pray that you break young this morning. I pray, Holy Ghost, to set the captive free this morning. I pray this morning, God, that somebody will hear your word and turn this morning. Father God Almighty, I pray you have thine own way this morning, Jesus. Lord God Almighty, I pray you clear the atmosphere, God. Your word already anointing, Lord. So here I am, I'm available to you this morning. I gave back to you all the tools you gave to me this morning morning Jesus my hands my ears my voice so you can use me as you please this morning God I've emptied up my cup before you this morning so you can fill me up this morning to speak your word unto your people this morning I'm available Lord this morning touch me this morning I'm thine own way this morning Jesus be the captain of the ship this morning 
Father, as I stand to your Lord, have thine own way this morning, Jesus. Strengthen me, God. Let self mighty God decrease this morning. And the Holy Spirit take over this morning, Jesus. We lift you up, our Father. We thank you, Jesus. Have thine own way this way this morning, Jesus. As we tell our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to greet my bishop, Bishop Dr. Delford Davis and his wife, Minister Petrova Davis. My old pastor here and all the members and saints of this assembly. I greet her this morning, no other name but in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our soon coming King. I greet those who are online this morning viewing Hallelujah. I greet our visitors this morning. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. As I stand here, I just want you to pray for me. Because it's not easy to stand in this capacity. But I give God thanks this morning. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Please stand to your feet this morning. As we're going to read a portion of God's holy word. Hallelujah. Please turn your Bibles to Matthew 24 this morning. And I'm going to read a part of the scripture before I go into the main text this morning. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And I'll read from verse 36 this morning. Hallelujah. When you all find it, let me hear you say amen. But of the day and the hour, know it no man. No, not the angel of heaven, but by my father only. But as the day of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For in the day that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving into marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Please turn, um, go down to 42. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord do commit. Hallelujah, glory be to God. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would have not suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be ye also ready. For in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Hallelujah. Let's go over to 25 and I read a portion there. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be like unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lambs and took no oil with them. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Verse 10. While and while they went to buy, the bridegroom come, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And afterward came also the other virgins say, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily, I say unto you, I know you not. Hallelujah. Watch therefore, he neither, watch therefore, for he know neither the day nor the hour where the Son of Man cometh. You may take your seat this morning. And I use a theme this morning. Hallelujah. Watch therefore for the bridegroom comet. And the sub theme, are you ready to meet your God? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. When I look in St. Matthew 24, when we, it speaks about when the flood was going to come. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And the Lord saw that the wickedness was upon the face of the earth at that time. Hallelujah. And he spoke to Noah and said unto Noah, build me a ark. Hallelujah. 
If the Lord have said unto us in this time to build a ark, would you obey the voice of God? But nevertheless, Noah listened and obeyed the voice of God. Because as a Christian, we should obey the voice of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Many of us say that we are Christians, but we don't obey the voice nor the commandment of God. But I come to say to somebody this morning, are you ready to meet your God? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So the Lord speak unto Noah, build me a heart, Noah. Noah did not question God to ask why you should build a heart. Why should I build a heart, God? He just ran with the vision, building the ark. He went to God when God said unto him, there's going to be a flood, so prepare me a ark. Noah, meanwhile, building the ark, people were wondering, why are you building an ark, pastor? They don't understand when you obey the voice of God. The things might sound foolish or look foolish unto mankind, but unto God it is wise. Hallelujah, glory be to God. And while Noah built a heart, people laugh and they mocked and they jeer him. But no one knows that what God said unto him one day, it will come a reality. But building the ark, Noah said unto them, prepare because there's going to be a flood. Glory be to God. Noah warned them while he was building the ark. Just as we are in the house of God and we hear the word of God. But nevertheless, we mark and we walk on cheery before God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But are you ready to meet your bridegroom? One day, one day, he will come. But are you prepared? Are you ready to meet your God? Hallelujah, glory be to God. And while Noah built the ark, they were doing their wickedness. They laugh, they drink, they complain, they, they mocked Noah. But nevertheless, Noah obeyed. In Genesis, in Genesis 6, God instructed Noah to build the ark. Hallelujah. And he built the ark and he tell him how he wants it. He tell him the size and what he must do. Hallelujah, glory be to God. But many times God speak to us or spoke to us and tell us what to do. Does, do you do it? As a child of God, we are in the house of God. But who are we or whose are we belong? Hallelujah, glory be to God. In chapter 7, in Genesis, God said unto Noah, it is time because my heart is grieved to see what is happening on the face of this earth. Glory be to God. Noah warned the people, come on board with me. He warned them, he begged them, just like we are in the house of God. And we said the word unto you, live a light unto the Lord. Let your light shine before men that they will see your good work and glorify God. Hallelujah. But we don't do that. But nevertheless, we are in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. In verse 7, the Lord said, Noah, go into the ark and bring some of the animals. Glory be to God. The people were marrying, married, drinking, laughing, evil Christian, idling because they are not obeying the voice of God. And God said, it is time, Noah. I am going to close the door. When God closed the door, no man can open it. Because when the flood begins uh, and people start to knock on the ark, uh, no one let me in. Uh, it was too late. As the word of God said, too late is going to be our cry if we don't live a life unto God. And the door was knock, locked and the flood came. But who was on the ark? Just Noah and his family and the, the animal occupy our space. Because we were not ready to accept the word from Noah. He warned them. There's going to be a flood. Just as we are in the house of God. Are you ready to meet your God? Or are you getting ready to meet your God? Shall we praise the Lord? 
Hallelujah. So those people die in the flood. But the Lord said he's coming back again. And there will be no more water. But there's going to be fire this time. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. When I look on the word. In the, in the text. When I've read. The kingdom of God represents the house of God. The building. The kingdom of God represents the house of God where we are now. Where we're sitting now. Where we're worshipping now. Where we sing on the choir now. Where we preach the word now. But it's going to come a day. The virgin represents the believer. The true believers are the believers. Because guess what? All of us are believers. You know? But some of us become foolish. When God saves us, we are believers. God wash away our sin. We become holy. We become pure. So there were ten virgins at the time. They were holy. When God saved them. When God saved us, all things are passed away. And things become new. So we are holy people. We got saved. So yes, we were virgin. Hallelujah. The bridegroom represents Jesus, is Jesus Christ who is coming back for his chosen people. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But I come to tell somebody this morning. You pretend like you are a wise virgin. And you're in the kingdom of God. But one day God is going to come and separate us. We pretend like we are holy. And we live in a righteous life. But the Lord said to tell my people this morning that he's coming back again. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. When I look on the word virgin, it tells me that a person who never been sexually have intercourse, right? Naturally. But the biblical part, when I look on it, the word virgin, it tells me that a virgin is someone that is holy. Someone that is pure. Someone that is righteous. A dedicated servant who swallow to God and obey his commandment. Hallelujah. And not some of them. Many times... When the Lord speaks to us in the word, we do what pleasing unto us and not pleasing unto God. But I'm telling you, you are one of the foolish virgin. You better examine yourself. Let us look into ourselves and see where we go wrong. Hallelujah. I come to tell somebody this morning, just look where you fall short. Examine yourself truly, diligently to see if you are a wise or you are a foolish virgin. Noah warned the people, but they did not listen. Many times you hear the word from this pulpit, but we don't listen. But the Lord says, speak unto my people. Let them know that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. If you want to have the gift of God, you have to walk holy. You have to walk righteous. You have to keep his commandment, my believer. Glory be to God. When I read verse 5, it says, While the bridegroom tarry, they slumber and sleep. And at midnight, there's a cry, behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go out to meet him. We are in the house of God. And we live a life can cheery while others live a life holy. And that's why there are so many problems in the house of God, Pastor. Because there are some foolish virgin. And that's why the house of God have so many problems in it. Because of the foolish virgin. But God said I'm coming back again to separate the goat from the sheep. Hallelujah. Are you ready to meet your God this morning? This is a warning for
from God. Tell my people to repent. If you are not living a life holy unto God this morning. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. These virgin were virgin because they have oil in their lamb. But after a time, the five foolish, the oil drained out. The oil drained out till it dry. They don't even recognize that the oil have dried out. But they still come and do God work. They still do the things of God, uh, but they are dry on the inside. Uh, there is no anointing there again, uh, but they still come uh, pretending uh, like they are wise virgin. Uh, you better look into yourself this morning and see where you fall short with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are here pretend like you are a wise virgin, huh? but you have ages in your heart. Huh? You pretend like you are wise, huh? but you don't want to forgive. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? You pretend like you are wise, huh? but you don't love your brothers and sisters. Who are you? Huh? Where are you going? Hallelujah this morning. Shall we praise the Lord this morning? You better take the word this morning. Repent or else you're going to perish. It is hard to be a Christian. Sometimes uh, some things that people do to you. Some wickedness. It has to take God to really intervene. But if you are a wise virgin, you have to be the commandment. Love your neighbors as you love yourself. Love your enemy. Do good to them. All when them in spite, they use you. Are you doing that this morning? Are you command being the commandment of God this morning? Oh, can you be a true soul of believers and eat just your brothers and sisters? Why you can't forgive? Why you can't let go? Why you can't give up and let God deal with it? Are you on your way to heaven? You want glory way to heaven? Where are you going? The door is going to close on you one day. Take heed to the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Shall we praise the Lord? In Matthew 13, the Bible speaks about the wheat and the tears. Pastor, he said, if you draw up the tears, the wheat have got a problem. So God said, leave them alone. Till my dear come. Leave them alone. Because you have some believers in the house, in every church, pastor can't talk to you. Leaders can't talk to you. Me and me one big man and big woman. But the Lord said in his word, children are being your parents in the Lord, for it is right. Hallelujah. He even said, honor your mother and father, children, that your days might be long. All the while we tell the children them that. But we are mothers ourselves and we have mothers. Do you obey your mother? Do you honor them? Do you respect them? Glory be to God. Who are we this morning? Let us examine ourselves. Hallelujah. This morning I want to tell somebody, break up your folly groan. Shake off the foolish behavior. Walk holy before God. Man of a limited time upon this earth. Many of us might not see the rapture, but death might come. I try my best to forgive every time. I always, one time I was one of the foolish virgin. I was holy at first, but when people do things to me, I say, I forgive them. Me now forgive them, God, because they hurt me. Hallelujah. But when I start to read the word of God, the word of God said, if you don't forgive them, I will not forgive you. The Lord encouraged me. And that's why you have to forgive. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes I bow to God. I say, God, look how they do me things. Jesus said, look what they do.
do me? Who am I? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So I come to tell you. Too late shall be a cry. Repent this morning. Because the kingdom of God is at hand. Take heed to the word of God. Lest the promise be slip you this morning. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You know when I asked to share the word. A week before I was there with the Lord. And the Lord was giving me this word. I said God why you give me this word. Anytime you give me something. I know I'm going to call upon to share I said, God, I can't manage. The Lord said, take stock of yourself. Look into yourself. See where you fall wrong. Because many of us don't just want to share the word, you know. But we don't want to take heed, you know. We don't want to repent before we share God's word, you know. We just want to hold mic. When we ourselves is at fault. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We are in the house of God. But many of us are on the wrong path. Going to hell. Coming to church Sunday after Sunday. Getting the word of God. But yet still you are on the wrong path. Glory be to God. But there is going to be a midnight cry. There is going to be a midnight cry up here. We don't know which day. We don't know the hour. But there's going to be a midnight cry. Are you ready to meet your God? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You said you are a Christian. In the house of God, we have so many rebellious Christians. They rebel about everything. And them not see there's something wrong with it. Them not see there's nothing wrong with it. And them express themselves and them rebel. And nothing is wrong with it. But the Lord is saying to you, my brothers and sisters, let us examine ourselves. Let us behave Christ like. When we read the word of God, is to equip us for the task to come. There's nothing in the word of God what happened now, we will not know about. The apostles have been through it. Nevertheless, them still do the work of God. Many of them got beaten, abused, stoned, imprisonment, but the word of God is still in their heart. But when something happens to you, your brother and sister do you something, oh, me not come back at church. Me not come back up there. But you must come to church because this is the hospital for you. At the altar of sacrifice lay. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. When I look in, in Judges, we speak about Samson. Samson was a chosen servant. He was holy. He was pure. God chose him. And God instructed his mother from in the womb what to do and what not to do. Samson obey God and he obey his parents. But he have grown big. And he have seen the works of God. He start to boast. And start to slip up. Because the minute you come off of God's territory and gone into the enemy camp, you start to slip. And many of us don't know that we're sleeping up, you know. But we still come to church. Because we go party tomorrow and we come at church today. We do the things of the world, but we still come at church. Because pastor no know, and my sister no know, and we do things in a secret. But remember, say God is watching you. You can't hide from God. You cannot hide from the Holy Spirit. And that's why we need them as a Christian. Because when them stand up before we and I tell we lie, huh? we can know that is lie them I tell because the Holy Spirit tells us is lie. And some to go over to the Philistine and him see somebody where him like. Fall in love with. The Israelites and the Philistine no mix. The Israelites are God people. Hallelujah, chosen people. 
Samson said to his mother, I want you to tell her, I said, I want her. I want to marry her. Go. His mother and father said, Samson, look into the kingdom of God. You don't see nobody here where you want to marry. No, I want her. Many times we have Christian in the house. And we go out to marry to one save. And we're in the house of God because we can't wait. We can't wait for God no more. I mess up with self. Because sometimes God not hard in it. God not hard in it. And sometimes as Christians we mess up. We go out there. We do some things that we wipe off the mouth and come. Because pastor not see we. The director not see we. The prayer mothers them not see we. But angel and the house are take record. And angel the way they are take record. So on the day of judgment, it shall reveal to you. Samson go over the Philistine and do him what he do because he's my own big man. I now listen to you, mother and father. I see me what. What about the house of God? What about your people? Holy people. And he went and messed up himself. You see, sometimes as Christian, the devil knows to draw we out, you know. Because he observes the weakness and he gets to know. He knows our weakness. Because you open it wide to him. So he says, okay, you love the party, man. All right. This is what I'm going to use. And he will mess you up. And sometimes you don't get the chance to reconcile back to God because your time has come to an end. And there is no repentance in the grave. Hallelujah. So Samson come and affiliate himself with the Philistine. Samson backslide. The eyes start to drain out of Samson. But he never pay attention to it. Because he mix in with the wrong people. And as Christian, when you mix with the wrong people, your eyes are going to drain out. You are going to come dry. But if you mix with the right people, you will get more anointing, more stronger in God. Be careful who you associate with. They will send you to hell. And that's why I don't have a lot of friends. Because not everybody in the house of God is going to make it in. But you better look into yourself. We better look into ourselves. Because the word of God said when him come, you could have preached him name like Paul and Silas. If you not live holy, the door is going to close. You could have done deliverance in him name. Till your name big. But God no know you. You could have preached the word. A wing soul and them gone to heaven and you gone to hell. Him no know you. Hallelujah. You could have gone on ministry. A wing soul for the kingdom and your head up. Depart from me, I know you not. Glory be to God. Let us stop playing with our salvation. Let us come out for the foolish ground. Let us take stock of ourselves and see where we fall short. Hallelujah. So Samson get messed up. Going over the Philistine. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God wasn't pleased. But he my own big man. He can do him own thing. Yeah, your own big man. But one day, he do a riddle. And the person who said that he loved, she loved him. Be careful. And he do the riddle. And the one that who said, Samson, I love you, tell me the riddle. Every time he tell her the riddle, she tell the Philistine. Samson, the Philistine are up on you. Jump, shake off himself, the Isle of God on him. And him jump, shake off himself. Tell him, tell her the true identity. What keep him strong? Be careful when you associate with the wrong people and you tell them your secret. 
They will use it against you. But when you tell God, he will not use it against you. The minute you tell people your weakness. And so she decided to destroy him. The devil decided to destroy him. And she, he tell her, if you cut my locks, this is what is going to happen. And she, she did fix him up. Put him in her lap to lie and cut his locks. And when she said, Samson, the Philistine is upon you. He jumped to shape, but there was no anointing. He jumped to shape, but there was no Holy Spirit there. He jumped to shape, but he could not lose himself. The devil tie him up. Hallelujah. Many of us in the Christendom, we are tied up by the enemy this morning. But I come to tell you, you better make Jesus loose you before it's too late. Shall we praise the Lord? Come on, just give God praise in the house. You better wake up, Zion. Zion, awake. Awake and trivial. Hallelujah. You better wake, Zion. Zion, you better wake up and trim your lamb. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Some of us as Christians, we have a form of godliness. And we deny the power thereof. But we don't know. Because we're not tech stuck ourselves. Your brother tell you, say, sister, you have a fault. But to you, I have no fault. Because you're not tech stuck. Hallelujah. But I want to tell somebody this morning. Hallelujah. Let the church be the church. Let the church be the church. And when God fix you up again, the songwriter said, I won't go back. Hallelujah. Let the church be the church. Hallelujah. Stop fool ourselves and doing some things that God not pleased with. Respect your leader. No matter how small them is. Do good unto others as you want others do good unto you. One point in my life, I used to argue with people. When them say A, me say B. And every time I argue, I go back to repent before God. And the Lord said, you know that when you read the word of God, you are one of the foolish. Because the Lord said, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. But against principalities and power. Don't wrestle against your brothers and your sister when they do wrong. Forgive them and leave them to God. Because payday is going to come. And when I realized that, I, I stopped arguing with people. Sometimes I go before God and ball and say, God, you know, so because of you, they might take liberty of me. Honestly. I went before God because I you me can't answer them, God. God say you must humble yourself under the mighty hands of God. And if you're not humble, you're not a servant of God. You have to humble yourself when them talk things against you. Humble yourself as a servant of God. And God will fight for you. Nowadays, I must see God start fight for me. I start to tell my children, say, watch dear. They saw them go on, look what got happen. And when them see it happen, them say, mommy, I you know. I say, make God fight for you. So when I learn my children this, it's when people are talking against you, pray for them. Love them. When you are past them, they show them no the bad face, the no bad attitude. And them start to look into themselves. I say, you're not perfect, but you can't overcome. I remember my daughter said to me one day, she got down the road and a little girl trouble her. And she said, when the anger come upon her, she does start stamp her foot. And when she comes, she said, she does walk away. And she said, mommy, this happened. I said, let me tell you something, love her, but avoid her ways. If she on the right, take the left, but pray for her. If it's some parents, them that say, oh, 
But she had trouble my daughter for. And you start, leave her alone. They are children. Teach them the way of God. It's not easy. Because sometimes she come home, she say, Mommy, you know, say, me nearly fight. But me have to walk away. It's not easy, but you have to teach them the commandment of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And when I realize God start to fight for me, it feels so nice when I see how God do some things to people who fight against you. He said, love them and watch them work in them way you come back to you. But if you do evil to them, you will have an evil report. But when you are a child of God, he said, love them, forgive them, do good to them. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Shall we praise the Lord? My brothers and sisters, it is time for us to take stock of ourselves. See where we weigh in the balance and found wanted. Tomorrow promise to nobody. Tomorrow don't promise to you and it don't promise to me. Zion, you need to awake. Let the church be the church. God say, coming back for a church that is ready. We are the church. I hear pastor said we are alive and well. Come off of the foolish road. Don't be like Samson. We have some Christians who find time to hide like David. When I should be on the battlefield for God, you stay warm and relax. Till you find yourself in trouble. But thank God for God's mercy and his love towards us. Because some of us have some bitter heart. Because look what David have done. Take away the man wife. And after him impregnate the lady, him go kill the husband. What a wickedness. And we say we are Christian. Sometimes I wonder if people really see it. But they are foolish people. Sometimes I see how Christian operate. I am not perfect because I've been there and done that. Oh, they treat people. Oh, you treat your brothers and sisters. Cause them to cry. Hallelujah. And your face are nothing wrong with that. Who makes you go on, man? Not like for see her, you know. Then if you don't love your brothers and sisters, oh God, oh, 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 you say you love God, then you don't know God. But yet still we have preached the word. And we have unforgiveness for years. Your bitterness. Your heart not right. But you come every day. Lift up your hand before God when God turn him back for you. But we can't see it. Love your brothers and sisters, believers. Do good to them. Forgive them. Just you're going nowhere. David has killed Uriah. Take away the man's wife. You see, as Christians, we must not idle. Always on the battlefield for God. Always doing something for God. Always be willing and ready when time call for people to come and do things for God. And look what happened. David do the act. And yet still, he never do nothing. But God is sending a word to you this morning. Just like he sent to, Nathan, to David. He said, Nathan to David. And even when he gave him the parable, David said, anybody will do that at the man. They must surely dead. You're so quick, you know, because I know Uno. Eh? But Nathan said unto David, David, this is you, the Lord talking. You must repent. Hallelujah. When David found out it was him, he fell to the ground and started to repent. But enough Christian not do it. Because they are a foolish person. They are foolish virgin, but yet still them in the kingdom. Woe unto such.
church. Hallelujah. You better take heed to the word of God because God is coming back. Whether you're ready or not, whether you're not ready or you're ready, my Jesus is coming back again. The Lord said, Warn my people, tell them that I'm coming back again. Are you ready to meet your God? Every time I tell my children, I say, Listen, surrender your life to God. I tell my husband, I say, Let go and surrender your life to God. My daughter tell me that how she got saved, God give her a vision. I never tell her to get baptized. And she said in the vision, she said to me, Mommy, I dream that I see you gone to heaven. And me, my father, my brother gone to hell. I never give her that dream. And she were what? Eight years old at the time. I said to her, what do you want to do? She said, Mommy, I want to surrender my life. I said, well, I will not stop you. Because as small as you is, God can use you. As small as you is, you can dead. Death is no respect of age or person, whether you're rich or whether you're poor. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And in the house of God, there are two types of people always in the house of God. The wise and the foolish. The wheat and the tears, the goat and the sheep. But God is going to come and do some separation. We're too easy, complacent. In the house of God, we're too relaxed and we sin. We're not looking to ourselves so we come short. We're not looking to ourselves so we found want in the balance. We're not looking to the sense so we need to repent as David. It's time for us to look into ourselves and awake. We are sleeping. God is coming back again. He said, tell my people whether they want to hear or whether they want to forbear. But I'm coming back again. So the days in Moses. So it shall be. You look and you see the times and the time. What is happening now? Earthquake in diverse places. Wickedness in high places. Murder all over. Man hard get desperately wicked. Wake up. Revelation speak about the churches. The seven churches. And you must find fault with them. But there are some in Sardis, the wise virgin, still trimming their lamb, all in their lamb, anointing is there. Still people in Sardis, I could have a one, I could have a two. When Abraham begged God, not destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Hallelujah. When him count down, Oh, God Almighty. And because of the mercy why I'm saving, cousin. Just the mercy of God. So God is telling us today, don't let mercy do a close on you. Don't let this warning slip you. Don't let this day be the day you don't reconcile with God. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you. Be steadfast, Wise virgin, continue to trim your llama, continue to stay focused, continue to be ready and waiting for God. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Take heed to the word of God. Take heed to the word of God. Take heed to the word of God. And see your friends, too late shall be your cry. Let this day you surrender to God. Hallelujah. Children, surrender your life to God. Those who baptize walk holy before God. Because your day you're going to be judged. God is no respecter of person. Time clock is striking the hour. Jesus will soon descend Clothed in the garment of power The reign of sin to end 
then will this anthem be ringing like to a mighty God just stand to your feet then round the throne will be singing glory and praise to God just lift your hands and sing glory glory to God this will the ransom sing glory glory to God the everlasting King praise him hallelujah to thy eternal space we are waiting for all translating the time is there glory glory let's sing this song glory to god the ever some sing glory 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 to God, the everlasting King. Praise Him, hallelujah, to that eternal space. We are waiting for all, translating the time His name. God bless you. God keep you. Let his face shine upon you. I pray take heed to the word of God this morning. Welcome our pastor this morning. Hallelujah. This is a message that needs no explanation. It's either you're in or you're out. And we all know where we stand. And as we close, I'm going to invite us down to the altar. If there be any amount unsaved among us now is the time to be saved i'm inviting you down for prayer we're just going to come down and just let us all pray hallelujah because we don't want to be foolish virgin standing in the house of god we want to make sure of our calling before god hallelujah is there anyone who I'm inviting the church down to come. Let us all come down and pray. Let us all come and pray. None of us are perfect before God. We all need God's mercy. We all need to pray. This morning we're going to pray and ask God to help us because we would not want for us to tell ourselves that we are saved and God put in his appearance and because of our oil as the preacher says run out and we did not even know it maybe because of how we love how we here for each other. We all want to, we, our desire should be one that we make it right because heaven is real. So I'm going to ask us to just bow our heads this morning and we're going to pray today. I'm going to invite Evangelist Roberts to pray for us this morning to do the closing prayer. Hallelujah. Evangelist Roberts. But while she prays, we all can communicate with God. Hallelujah. This is a solemn morning because we don't know when the bridegroom cometh, but we know he's coming. And that's why we surrender our life to God because we know he's coming. But careless living, careless living can cause us to miss God because all the all the virgin went to sleep all 10 all 10 went to sleep and all 10 was awakened 
because the cry went out. But it was midnight, and you need light to see around you. Is our light going out, and we don't recognize it? Hallelujah. Evangelist girl. Peddler Roberts. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we give you praise this morning. Uh, mighty God, your word have gone forth. Uh, oh, God, with power and clarity. Uh, mighty God, reminding us in your word. Uh, oh, God, that we are to watch and pray. Uh, mighty God of Daniel, reminding us in your word. Mighty God, that we are to be like the white virgin. Uh, mighty God, Lord, as a minister. Oh, God, minister the word. Uh, mighty God, this morning. Uh, oh, God, almighty. Oh God, where we are at a time when we think we stand. Oh God, and the anointing is still with us. Mighty God, we realize, oh God, that the oil has been gone out. Oh God, the fire of God has been gone out. Mighty God, but this morning we are here, God, in your presence. We are here in your oh God Almighty at the altar of sacrifices. Mighty God, we are here, God, at a time to repent before you. Oh God Almighty. Mighty, we ask, oh God, right now, Lord, oh God, that you stretch forth your hands and touch each and every one of us, mighty God, as we bow in prayer, mighty God. Lord Jesus, you said in your word, God, oh Father, if we confess our sins, oh God, you are faithful and just to forgive. Lord, you'll search our hearts, because only you alone know the heart. You said, oh God, almighty, the heart is tricky. Oh God, it is deceitful. It is desperately wicked. Only you know God and sometimes our word mighty God what we say and what we have done and what we even think mighty God displease you so father we ask for forgiveness this morning we ask for a washing this morning we ask for a cleansing this morning mighty God help us Lord God to be ready because we know not when the hour the time when you will make your appearance mighty God when you will come oh God almighty Lord Jesus Christ Christ of Nazareth to help us mighty God to continue to work the work you send us to do oh God to continue to have our fire oh God within us Lord rekindle the fire again within us Jesus give us clean hands and pure in our mighty God oh God almighty we pray in the name of Jesus oh, all of us oh God in this house this morning mighty God from the pulpit to the pew mighty God every one of us Jesus have sinned and come short of your glory according to your word oh God in Romans oh God almighty chapter 3 23 oh God almighty so this morning we ask you God to forgive us mighty God and father God we pray for a fresh anointing touch us again bring us back to the place where we first believe mighty God of Daniel let our light so shine among men that they may see your good work and glorify you Jesus others will glorify you mighty God Lord help us mighty God oh God to tell someone about you oh father God let us not be wearing well doing oh God help us to stand Oh God, for holiness and righteousness, mighty God, give us a heart of love to love one another, to forgive one another in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We ask, oh God, your healing hands. Oh God, we'll move over this. Oh God, oh God, house this morning. Mighty God, we pray for spiritual healing. We pray for physical healing. We pray, God, mental and emotional healing. God, there are some who might be hurting because of the things that have been said. But God, I ask of you, God, to heal that one, that wound, that hurt, that emotional hurt. In the name of Jesus, mighty God, I pray oh father God at one oh God who have done wrong and have not realized oh God just as how it was spoken this morning mighty God of Daniel that we will look into ourselves and see where we have fall short oh God and go down on our knees before you Jesus because God your hands of mercy will extend unto us oh God be extended unto us this morning in this very assembly oh God for those who will hear or have heard the word gone out oh God 
oh God on the media mighty God I pray Father God that you do a work in us Jesus Lord God remove oh God oh God every spot and every stain and Father God we pray that you take us back oh God to the place oh God where we first believe Lord God I pray Father God for those who are struggling oh God for those who are weak oh God might be getting weak in the faith oh God strengthen our feeble knees oh God almighty help us God to be rooted and grounded in thee in the name of Jesus oh God I pray Father some might be experience God value experience this morning oh God in the value situation oh God oh God spiritually Lord I pray that you reach down and talk and take that one up mighty God take them up to a higher place in you God in the name of Jesus that will come up higher in thee in the mighty name of Jesus will experience oh God a mountain experience with you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Heavenly Father, God, we pray that you'll reconcile, that we'll reconcile unto you this morning. Mighty God, if there's any unsaved among us, Father, I pray, Father God, this morning that they will, oh God, will hear your word, oh God, and heal to your word and repent, oh God, this morning, Father God, because now is the time, now is the hour, now is the day, because God Almighty, we know what, not what tomorrow might bring, so Oh, Father God, I pray for that unsaved one that, oh God, he or she will come to know you and accept you as Lord and Savior of their life. Father God, I thank you. Mighty God, I pray a blessing, oh God, over us this morning, each and every one of us this morning. Mighty God, I pray, God, as we go one from another, oh God, that you'll go with us. Let your word reside in us this morning. Oh God Almighty, let it be on fertile ground this morning. Oh Father God, let it, oh God, Oh God, be with us, Lord. And Father, we give you all the praise. And thank you, God, for what you have done among us this morning and, and about to do and still doing. Oh God Almighty, we give you thanks and we give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. amen. You will go back to your seat. Praise God. We give God thanks today for his word. Amen. Let me thank all those who viewed us today. Let me give God thanks for you. And before you go, viewers, I want to tell you of something that is happening right here at 47A Grove Road. Anybody know what I'm about to tell them? Anybody know what I'm about to tell our viewers? All right, you don't know, so I'll tell them and you will listen. Coming up is our 38th annual convention. Now, you have been to many conventions, but I honestly feel that there's going to be a very special outpouring of God in this, our 38th annual convention. And so I'm inviting you, you will be getting some handbills to invite out your family, invite out your friends. Let me see the hands of those in the sanctuary who have received it on your phone as yet. You have seen it on your phone. Just a few. All right, before you leave, talk to somebody and they'll send it to your phone. And I'm going to ask you to send it to everybody in your group. Put it on your status, put it on your TikTok, put it everywhere. Because I believe that everybody needs to hear the word of God. Amen. We'll be having, a convention will be on September 22nd, that's Sunday, September 22nd. And please, viewers and listeners, Sunday, September 22nd, we're going to entitle it Homecoming. So I want everybody who knows somebody who used to be a part of the Grove Road Power of Faith, I want you to specially invite them out to the Sunday morning service. Amen? You know somebody who got saved in Grove Road or used to be a member of Grove Road, I'm going to invite you to invite them out. 
tell them Sunday morning you want them to come to convention. It's homecoming when the saints of God are done wherever they worship. They are to come to 47A Grove Road that Sunday morning to come and fellowship and worship with us. Will you do that? Will you do that? Amen. We are inviting out everybody to come out to our Sunday morning. Sunday, September 22nd. And, and on the Tuesday and the Wednesday, we will have Deep of Life teaching right here. Tuesday morning, beginning at 10 a.m., there will be a Deep of Life teaching in the sanctuary on the convention theme. And the convention team says, what does the Lord require of you? You want to really know in depth what God requires of you. You need to try and get that day off. Tuesday, the, the theme says, what does the Lord require of you? Are you ready? You see, it's wanting to know what the Lord requires. But you must be ready to do what the Lord requires. Because we are hindering the blessings of God because we refuse to do what God says. So there will be a special Bible teacher here on the 24th, which is the Tuesday morning, the 24th, to teach. And you can come early because right after the teaching session, which should finish at about 12, there will be lunch on sale for a small cost. Amen? Lunch will be on sale for a small cost on Tuesday. And on Wednesday, it's our fasting day. And again, you will have another deeper life teaching. And, you know, we'll do the prayer, anoint, and pray for the sick. And God will move in our midst, and we will have lunch after. Those who choose to break their fast after the teaching at 12 or 1 o'clock when we finish about 1, 1 1.30. The Wednesday you will have lunch on sale at a small cost. You know, the people of God must fellowship uh, with one with another. Amen? And on the Wednesday night, so Monday night, Wednesday night, Tuesday night, it is, and Sunday night, will be our evangelistic service and we'll be going on the street to invite others. If we have something good, it's only fear that we invite others. And I don't just want us to invite the, the saved. We have to invite out the unsaved. So when all the saved people who come to share with us are gone, we will have others building up the kingdom of God. Amen? Praise God. So I want you to prepare. Also, we are going to be having three days of fasting and prayer. And I think we are going to combinate those three days with an all-night prayer meeting. We just don't want an ordinary convention that we just come and enjoy. We want God to move among us. Amen? We want people to see and receive the miracles of God. And so we have to prepare our heart. Our bishop, Bishop Dr. Delpha Davis, will be in attendance and many others. So I'm going to just invite us to prepare our heart. Those who can take a time off from work to come and to hear. Don't just let it just pass like that. Amen? But prepare yourself for convention. So viewers, I want to see all of you viewers this Sunday morning. I want to see this place packed with the people of God just worshiping God. Amen? Praise God. Praise God. At this time, I'm going to invite the ushers to come and they will be receiving the morning's offering. Please, I'm also asking you, let this be the final Sunday when you contribute to our children back to school. There are some of us who are just unable to do what we ought to do for our children. And as a church, we believe in helping those who are among us. Do you think that is a good thing? Amen. So I'm going to ask you to please, that little pink bucket, whatever you put in there today, not your tithes, not your offering, but whatever you put.